Hey, found this in the right positions for you. Great. Great. I'll use that one. Danny can use mine. You two go climbing a lot together? Nope. First time. First time, and you're climbing the north face of Mount McKay? Isn't that a little over ambitious? Yeah, not for Danny. Picks things up like that, you know? Let's give him some of the basics. He'll pick it up really quick. I mean, everything's easy for that guy. Hey, Dad. Hey, champ. You ready? Uh, bad news. I did in my ankle. You go and have a good time for the both of us, okay? No way. Come on, the whole point of this trip is we go together. I'd be back, company. Look, uh, I gotta go, okay? The way, Dan! Well, why didn't you level? After that C from Jacobson, unless you ace the final, your future is null. I have to make it look easy. You're nuts. <sighs> Maybe. Anyway, going on a camping trip with my dad is just another test. At least your dad wants to see you. All my folks want to see are my grades. You need a break, Quinn. I've been monitoring you. Who are you? I'm having a party. 311 Grant Avenue. Please, Quinn, come. Who's she? I don't know. No, yeah, well, she seems to know you. Grant Avenue, that's not all that far from here. Well, you're not thinking of going. We have a final. Come on, 20 minutes is not gonna kill us. Quinn, come on, I need a break. We both do. A real her. Would you quit being a cynic? You need a relaxant. to join me? It's not sad here like it is out there. Where are you? Some place that has nothing to do with getting perfect grades or pushing till you drop. How? Just put that on. It won't hurt you. I promise. It's just the key that lets you in.
There was a portal with a girl in it. It looked like a holographic image. And then Quinn put on this electronic headset. A tech headset? I don't know. I wasn't that close. And then he stepped into the porthole. There was this, this white flash. Like somebody turned out the lights, huh? Exactly how much did you have to drink, inhale, or plug in? I told you, nothing, okay? I'm not into that. Hey, wait a minute. It's picking up a hot spot. Residual trace. Of what? I don't know. Something that put out one hell of an energy burst. Have Quinn's parents been notified? They're rafting down the Orinoco, certain that their son and heir is covering them with glory. You're acting like it's their fault. No. No, they just screwed him up. I took him there. So you want to blame someone? Hey, scholar. Do you want to learn something? Power grid of our fair city. When your friend pulled a Houdini, the grid received a signal to mega boost power to the warehouse. From where? Were you able to trace it? I have tried flashback decryption, burn worms, nada. There's a scrambler on this like nothing I've ever seen. It's a new generation of technology. Wouldn't it be nice if the world just slowed down for a while and stayed the same? Yeah. Were you able to ID the guy that Danny described? I always get my man. So is that the ballerina that was taking the plaz? That's the guy. OK, his name is Eddie Anakar, and he's got a place on Moscow Street. Want to ride in a fast car? I'm in. No, you're going back to school. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm talking about hitting the books the way you're supposed to and let the detectives do the detecting, OK? You think I'm going to study for some stupid test now? I got him into this mess. This is my friend we're talking about. And you're my son, so it's not negotiable. Hey, Annie. Forget it. Annie. Wait a minute. He feels responsible, Jake. He's just trying to help. Yeah, well, he can help by staying out of trouble. Yeah, and you follow that advice all the time, don't you? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, you know how to put me right. Oh. Oh. Hey, you want to get your chakras aligned? No, thanks. You know, Eddie, this isn't what I pictured for you. I like dolls. Do you have a problem with that? No, just questions. Mm. Well, like I said, I throw parties, let kids blow off steam. And if someone disappears? Well, the price of admission doesn't cover nursemaids. <laughs> I think we're done here. And so are we. I don't think so. See, I got this little alarm in my head, and it's telling me that you know what's going on here. Hmm. You can't prove a thing. Maybe I don't have to. Ooh, this is nice. Put that down. Hey, oh! <laughs> ah, clumsy me. You know, you can't trust me around breakables. Are these uh, fully jointed? Oh! Oops. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. 1842 Hastings Royale. Oh, Hastings Royale. Must be rare. Yes, it is. Very. Maybe I should put her down so she's safe. Yes, gently. Careful with her. Thank you. Thank you. No! No! no. Convince me not to. OK, OK, look. Look, they pay me to keep quiet and not ask any questions. They who? I don't know. That's the God's honest truth. Please, look. The, the credits are transferred into my account. I let them take the kids. Kids? How many? Um, some. Lots. I don't know. Please, I can't think. Please, don't hurt her. Oh, you know. <laughs> Getting kind of attached to her. <laughs> I think I like to take her out. Where's the next party? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs>
So Nika says she traced nine disappearances, and they all occurred in the last 18 months, right? Yeah, and all strangely similar. I mean, in none of the cases did anyone make a ransom demand. So if they're not after the credits, then what are they after? And what did they do with the kids? Well, let's hope that Doll Boy leads us to some of the answers. Think he told us everything he knows? I don't think he knows much. I think this guy's just a party animal. And paid to set the bait. Yeah, well, somebody more sophisticated does the actual kidnapping. Online. Now, what did that invite say? You need a break. So, the girl likes to pick on grinds, eh? Computer, let's generate a bogus log on file. Dan Cardigan, world record holder of compulsive cramming. We sort of are, like... Except that I escaped. I gave myself permission. To do what? Take a vacation. You'd like that, too, wouldn't you? Maybe. Get out of the pressure cooker. Just rest a while. So, uh, what do I have to do? Just trust me. I put that on. Okay, really. It's only a key. Touch that thing. I think it keeps them alive. I know you can hear me in there. Come on, Dan. Clinically, your son's in a coma, Mr. Cardigan. But there are curious anomalies. According to the EEG, his mind is exceptionally active, reacting to varied stimuli. Stimuli from what? I don't know. It's not a normal REM pattern. It's more like a cortical. Hey, Nika, you get any ideas on those descriptions we gave you? Not on the lady or the gentleman. As for this puppy, it may be small, but it has major delts. It's transmitting Dan's brainwaves on a continual feed. But the signal is scrambled. Can't you trace the relay? We're from the Stone Age, and this is the future. It's not just a breakthrough. It is out there. Fine. It's a technological miracle. Now let's get it off. The device has taken over your son's autonomic functions. If we remove it, he could die. And if we leave it on, then what? His central nervous system won't take this for much longer. How much longer? Maybe weeks, maybe uh, days. I'm sorry. Jake, 
We'll figure this out. Oh, why did he have to take off like he did? Why? Jake, take it easy. I mean, he's a, he's a kid. Kids think they're invulnerable. I know. Oh, it's just when I look at him, I... all I see is my boy. Hey, Danny, I know you can hear me. I know you can hear me, Dad. I'm gonna get you back, okay? I swear to God. Incredible. Just incredible. I take it you're pleased with the demonstration. Pleased? Oh, your formula doubles my tech production, triples its potency, and makes it virtually untraceable. <laughs> I think I'm in love. So we can sign you up for a regular service. Well, it'll cost me my shirt, uh, but yes. Your credit line is verified. Welcome to our select group of clients. So, when do we get started? We've started. You just send me the problem areas of your operation and Matrix will get to work solving them. I'm gonna ride you hard. Hard is how we like it. And we're constantly increasing capacity so we can take more. Oh, you are a kitten, you are. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'd like to sterilize the vid phone. What now? We deal with our gate crash of the cardigan boy. Without his body, we can't break his mind link to the others. Keep checking the hospitals. Must have taken him someplace. How you doing on cracking that scramble? Since the last time you asked me three minutes ago. I'm sorry I'm being a pain. Hey, but, uh... it's okay. You can't help it. Look, I wish I could say I'm getting somewhere, but I'm not. I can't tell you who built the headset. I can't tell you where it is transmitting Dan's brainwaves. And you can't tell me how to pull him out of this. Then we gotta find somebody who can. You know, the security on the hospital computer, how solid is it? No, it's solid enough to keep out amateurs. What do you have in mind? Well, I mean, whoever's behind this, I mean, they got a real knack for staying invisible. Eddie can't ID him. We can't trace him. We got to make this guy come to us. Okay, I copy. Tried to grab Danny once. Maybe they'll try it again. It's not what you expected, is it? It's like I've gone through the looking glass. Everything's... Everything's too perfect. It's, it can't be real. Because reality's too grim. It doesn't have to be, you know? Dan? Hey, Dan! <sighs> you found your way to... Quinn. Not Quinn. Sorry, I can't be Quinn. Because I'm smiling. No more finals. No more living life like criminals on trial. We're wanted here, Dad. Here, whatever we do, we're good enough. It's okay. I was a little flaked out myself when I got here. The last thing we've been trained to trust is... happiness, right? Yes. Dan, you are uptight. Tina, why don't you give him one of those miraculous rubdowns? Uh, no. Thanks. I would uh, just like to know how long this vacation is. Oh, Dan, you, you don't seem to get it. It's not a vacation, it's life. Hello, Dan. Allison Gilbert. I created this place. You created it? Well, let's just say I established the parameters that allow its existence. Why? Oh, 
all those young people out there trying so hard to be better than the best. But that life is like a cage, isn't it? So, you locked them here instead? Oh, Dan, you can leave whenever you want to. But don't you ever ask yourself, why am I pushing so hard? What if I told you to get a good job, make lots of money? Look a little deeper. Isn't it more important to have somewhere to belong than someone to belong to? Dan, the prison is out there. This is a sanctuary. You just give yourself a little time. Tina, help Dan. Help him to find himself. Come on, Dan. Exit program. Talk to me. I've managed to hack into the hospital logs. They're gonna be moving the cardigan boy, transferring him to the neural ward. And the guards? Shouldn't be a problem. If you can't get away with the boy clean, I want you to take back the equipment. If I do that, he'll die. Just do it. Get some help, you know who to call. I didn't sign on for a murder. You know, Marty, one of the things I've learned in this life, you either evolve or you become extinct. I'm sorry. I didn't want this to happen. Good thing for you that it didn't. Deactivated. I don't know how. No, I can't. I don't know the code. Only Dr. Gilbert knows it. Who's Dr. Gilbert? I'll talk to my lawyer. So I'm not a cop. And you are not under arrest. That is my son. I didn't want to hurt your son. Yeah, well, you are hurting my Jake. son. Jake. Now listen, you don't seem like a bad guy. You got the chance to make things right. Take it. Dr. Gilbert is the creator of the Neural Matrix. What's that? A very sophisticated data net powered by human cerebral cortexes working in tandem. You're taking kids and linking their minds to a computer network? That's happening to Danny right now? Is that what's happening to him? His mental signals are being transmitted? To the net, yes. So how do you get them to go along? Their consciousness is locked in a cyberspace garden. It's quite lovely, I'm told. It's a utopia. It's a lie. Dr. Gilbert said it was the perfect solution. Take unhappy kids and give them a new life. Only... Only what? The Matrix puts too great a load on their synaptic pathways. Subjects eventually decay. Put it straight. 
You mean die. Some last longer if their waves get in sync with the net. But she always needs replacements. You're gonna take us to the doctor? It's been too long since I reported in. She'll be suspicious. Well, she's just gonna have to bear up. Your friends made himself at home. He didn't have one on the outside. Just absentee parents mailing off money to pound success into him. And are you supposed to be a little daddy clone? No. No, I'm not. My dad was a cop, and he got himself hooked on tech. He went to jail. I didn't see him for a few years. I'm sorry. Now he wants me to be some kind of super student. He wants to make sure none of his stuff rubs off on me. Like we're not related or something. Most families are such lonely places to live in. So, how'd you get here? Someone invite you to a party? No, I was the first. Oh, I was trying so hard to be perfect, to make my folks proud, which of course I couldn't do. So I tried to kill myself. Dr. Gilbert saw how unhappy I was, so she saved me. She gave me the headset, I stepped through the portal, and right then, I knew what I wanted to do with my life. I wanted to save other kids, and she lets me. Tina. What does she get out of it? She gets to help people. We can trust each other here. Why do you have such a hard time believing that? When she said I could leave if I wanted to, did she mean that? Sure she did. Has anyone ever tried? Well, some. I mean, they don't say goodbye, but Dr. Gilbert says they go home. How do you know it's true? Because she told me. What? Nothing. You worry me when you stop disagreeing. <laughs> so many questions. You're living in your head. You've got to start living here. Risk another way. It won't destroy you. Dr. Gilbert. Disable the security net. Weedman said you were caught. Well, Weedman was wrong. Come on, turn the damn thing off. It's raining out here. It's off. Enter your palm print code. Is there a back door? No. The front should be open. No. So we're just gonna walk in? I'll go first. The security cameras will follow me. You keep five paces behind. Right. Hey, don't get any heroic ideas, okay? Hardly. Let's go.
put on hold. Please, can we get back to my order? I've got something to deal with here. Like what? Tell me. I love other people's problems. I've got a couple of intruders. My security system can't seem to find them. Oh, not good. Well, listen. Would you like me to come down there with a few of my lads? You see, I think you'd like them. They're walking slabs of meat. Tell them not to walk too slowly. What now? Plasma grenade on a proximity detonator. Off the rack security. Probably up and down the corridor, so. All right. You take five seconds to rearm. If I, if I fire, pulse down the hallway. Probably set off every one of the bombs. Then we sprint. You ready? Let's go for the gold. All right. son is part of something greater than himself. Stay where you are, or I'll cut the power and they'll all die. You do that. You kill those kids, and you go to cry out for life. Believe me, that's worse than hell. You know, scientific pioneers are always unpopular. Because we raise too many brave questions. What are you doing? Going to the promised land. He's got a good pulse. Just like Danny. This neural matrix has got fail safes up the wazoo. I can't defang it from the outside. So then we can't pull the plug. Look, if we're gonna save these kids, we have to disconnect them. Yeah. What do you know? An empty. Mood to take a ride. No, Jake, you can't. If you go out into the Matrix and can't find a way back, you'll die. I guess I'll have to find a way back, huh? Seal it up. No one leaves till I say so. Plasma detonators deactivated. Perimeters system secure. Got gate crashers. Security net sealed off the entire building. And I can't override it. We're trapped. What do you think? Well, definitely not insurance salesman. At least that's something. Can you buy me some time? Say hi to Dan for me. You'd be able to say it to him yourself. That's not important right now, okay? What's important is how do we get out of here? Who are you? Uh, Tina, this is my dad. You don't belong here. I know. I just came with a message. 
Meaning lecture. Are you afraid to listen? Nobody's afraid here. Good. Because this is something everyone needs to hear. Check out. <laughs> oh, naughty, naughty. We'll take good care of her. We'll help you. Punches. We haven't got much time. All right, this whole place is an illusion. So what? Well, your real bodies are on life support systems. No. Dr. Gilbert lied to you. Why on life support? Because she's discovered a leap in technology, a computer that's fueled by human minds, okay? By your minds. Only like most fuel, you get used up. You die. I don't believe you. Tina. Why aren't there more of us here? I mean, th those kids you told me about. The ones who didn't say goodbye. They just went home. Just think about it. They're dead. And what if we don't care? At least we're in control of our lives here. Have you ever met a tech head? No. Well, you're looking at one. Made me feel free. Happy. Well, everything that I really cared about slipped right through my fingers. It was a false happiness. I was lying to myself, okay? And that's what you're doing right now. You're lying to yourselves. I wish life was easy. Well, I wish it was. But it's not. So why live in it? In a world where no one listens? That is bull. I'm listening. Now you listen. We need every one of you out there. But the only one who knows the way out is Dr. Gilbert. Well, we gotta work together to find a way out. I thought you believed in realism, Mr. Cardigan. We've never properly been introduced. I'm Alison Gilbert. I made this world. By stealing the minds of these kids. By helping them to full self-realization. While their comatose bodies lie locked in your lab? Oh, this must be very, very upsetting to all of you. You can all go. It's over. Oh, I said you can go. No, she said it's over. See, these kids, they don't want to buy, they don't want to buy lies. They want the truth. It's true, isn't it? We're all just part of some computer. Your parents programmed your lives. I just showed you a new pathway. You don't care. My parents don't care. But I do. Let us out. No. No. You're my children. I have to protect you. You protect your profit margin, you mean, don't you?
can make it do what you want. You control it. Welcome back. Hey, thanks for holding down the floor. You all right? Come on, get up. Jake, she's dead. Nika, how's Dan? looking good. Thanks. <laughs> Camping trip take two? Yeah. Only this time, no climbing. Just uh, you take it easy, right? Yeah, one whole weekend of solid underachievement. <laughs> You got possibilities, Cardigan. Yeah, that's what they tell me. Send me a postcard. Sure. Not bad for next cop, huh? Yeah. Let me get that. Thanks. Got that? Yeah. Dad, uh, when you went in after me, you knew you might die, huh? Well, that's what fathers do. No, it's what you did. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> Let's get going. Come on. 